Hey guys, what is up? It is Clumbo and welcome back to a brand new video and just yes, finally Thank you Epic Games. We have this duet weapon. Oh, it's been quite some time like this has been actually I believe it was like kind of glitched into the game as like a little bit of like a leak showed up as like a different like on like a different weapon but nonetheless we do have the new duet weapon it's gonna be assault rifle steampunk a high damage assault rifle that's good for sustained fire due to the slow rate of fire and large magazine capacity not very accurate when firing on the move as you can see we have the stats on the left um, one thing I'll take note of like the fire rate is 4.5 and the magazine we got a big mag we got the 90 for that and the range also pretty good reload time is going to be 2.5 seconds and what I went right now is just a full damage build and also kept that magazine size um, just because you know we just want to keep it up there super huge magazine size I feel like would be pretty good for this weapon um, let's also take a look at the modified perks um, again I changed this to damage but um, you can change the critical rating, crit damage, fire rate, reload speed um, pretty much same thing headshot damage you go quite a bit of headshot on this but again the accuracy isn't too good um, we change any, el any element I might change that later on but I'm gonna leave that physical for now a uh, magazine size that's how it came and also um, weapon stability critical rating or headshot damage and with this just like all the other steampunk weapons it has that shrapnel um, that's gonna like splinter dealing the 40% damage in a cone behind the target also I just want to show you guys real quickly the brand new shop so again this is going to be in the um, weekly item store for 1680 seasonal gold oh thank god I finally <laughs> it took me quite some time to farm up some more seasonal gold but I want to farm up especially for pure drop strength because super low on that so we got some like, then schematics ceiling gas trap scythe flux uh, pistol armory slot um, of course all of your evolution materials the pitchfork, stone crash, um, some rare perk up, always nice to pick up, and also some reperk. Now very quickly, just taking a look at my hero loadout. This is like the loadout that I usually use for assault weapons. Again, yours could be a little bit different, but this one's uh, pretty good overall. So what we're using is the very overpowered tactical assault sledgehammer. It's going to increase our critical damage by 225%. Or is that, yeah, 225, which... I don't know. I think I think it's actually like that. I don't. I still haven't figured out if that's actually glitch when it says 75 and the other one because says other one 75, but I believe it's still 225. If not, anyways, he's just completely overpowered. We have preemptive strike, increases damage by 6.5% against full health enemies. We only have two times that because again, I'm so so low on pure drops of rain. I get so much survivor XP, but getting like farming like evolution materials is just a pain. It's just they, they need give they need to give you more and a little bit less XP. I just get way too much XP at this point. Locked and reloaded. After reloading, increases weapon damage by 15% for five seconds. But the first assault, after reloading the assault weapon, the next two shots have 100% critical chance, which goes really good with this hero. We have survivalist, which I always use a lot. Basically, just gonna gain us um, gain us some extra health. And then this is <laughs> what I just changed. I had the fall in love range of Joni for energy, but I changed this to waste not what not. Increases the magazine size by 30%. You know, I said, you know, why the heck not? And also, we have the Night Stalker during evening and night, increase our movement speed by 25%. Alright, guys, so we are in a match. Let's just test it out right now. Okay, okay. I like how, like, the steam comes out a little bit. And then we still, like, I'm just holding down R2 right now. And the magazine size on this thing, like, oh my gosh, 108. That's that's actually crazy. Just a little bit. Um, again, this is gonna be 4.5, and this is uh, 6.25, I believe, for right here, right there. So actually, um, let's go. Let's go try to just find some. Okay, here's some husk right here. We'll just use this. We're gonna use this on a smasher, a few blasters, stuff like that. To show you guys a little bit of gameplay. I don't know. Like, I kind of like the slower type of assault rifles. I don't know. Um, I seem to get used to. It. I've been. I've just been using the siege siege breaker and just, just like the grave digger so so much lately. Okay. Do I even dare to take out the stone chest? So you know, I'll go for it. I'll probably end up dying, but you know what the heck? Not. Why not? We'll go for it. I always like. I always shoot like three bullets and then reload because I'm so used to having to reload all the time. Like, what am I doing? All right. We'll shoot these down. See this. Again, we do have a lot of the critical damage on this, so this is gonna be pretty good. It's against power level 82. There we go. Also, been working on the Twine Peak storyline a lot. The only problem with that is that all of the uh, oh my god, it's reloaded again. But the problem with that is like the missions, like they're just like 
over and over the same exact thing like play three missions of this and then it's literally the exact same thing just three different mission types it's getting a little bit annoying all right so there we go we got a smash in front of us should be good we'll just start shooting them we'll see how long it takes it might take a little while we'll go for a lot of the headshots Ooh. Don't run off, don't run off, don't run off. Please don't run off the edge. Actually, I don't want him to run that way. Run up here. We almost got him about halfway. It's taking a little while. We're doing like 20,000 though. Oh, okay. So if you guys did enjoy the video, sorry it isn't anything too long. Just want to show you guys a little bit of gameplay, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of growing on me though, not going to lie. I kind of like the... I don't know, it's kind of weird, like the rhythm of a shooting. You know, it sounds kind of weird, but... Um, you know, it really does kind of grow on you and something that I would probably improve would be the um, The rate of fire just just a little bit. I would definitely move that up Let's take out these right here, but the rate of fire um, I would definitely add a little bit more damage on it. Although mine's doing like I might do about 20k um, Per at least on the blast stuff like that about 9k just regular, but yeah again I do have kind of a lot of critical Stuff like that, so it's not too bad. But anyways, if you're also looking for a weapon that has a very hefty magazine size, and this is going to be the weapon for you, you really don't have to um, re reload all that much, which is, again, a really nice perk, to be honest. It's really cool. Let's do that. We'll do that. And again, the accuracy, like it does say in the description, how it is going to be a little bit worse. I do notice that. It kind of tends to go around a little bit, so just be, just be cautious of that. And also, I did just create a Twitter, guys, so make sure to go follow that. Um, we're trying to get to 100 followers on there. Oh, man, really troll. And then, and then we're trying to get 100 followers on there. Um, so make sure you guys go follow that. Link will be down in the description. I'll usually post um, when I upload a video or something like that on there. And also, I do have a, I am creating a Discord as we speak right now. Learning how to use Discord a little bit. I want to try to create um, a community on there. So hopefully that will be up soon. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for the video. Really do appreciate all the support. I know Fortnite hasn't been in like the best of conditions as of lately. We say the world's been kind of broken. Marketing too much content, but the new season's just around the corner. So really hyped up about that. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next time.